USB. USB, or Universal Serial Bus, is the most common interface for connecting many devices, such as keyboards, printers, and flash drives. It was created to become the universal interface for simplifying things, because back then, every device had its own connector, which made everything messy and confusing. That's why USB was introduced, and it showed up in three main shapes, Type A, Type B, and Type C. Type A is the standard rectangular one, which, like I said, is used for connection and data transfer. Type B is the bulky one and mostly used to connect computers to printers. And just so you know, mini USB and micro USB are actually just the smaller types of USB Type B. Mini B was often used for peripherals like the PS3 controller, while micro B became the standard for charging phones before USB-C took over. And then we have USB Type C, the reversible connector that basically does everything USB A can, but faster and with more power delivery. Even USB-C ports can carry video signals too, so you can connect external displays like touchscreen portable monitors to your laptop with just that one cable. Oh yeah, other than types, USB has various versions too. USB 1.0 could only transfer data at 12 megabits per second, and its ports were usually white, but it's no longer used today since it's way too slow. And just to make it clear why I said slow, many people confuse megabits with megabytes, but they're actually not the same. One byte is eight bits, so speeds written in megabits per second are actually around eight times smaller when converted to megabytes per second. Anyway, the standard these days is USB 2.0, which goes up to 480 megabits per second and usually comes in black. And then the newer ones like USB 3.0 and 3.1 can transfer five to 10 gigabits per second. These ports are often blue and have nine pins instead of four pins like USB 1.0 and 2.0. And then there's USB 3.2, which can go even faster, up to 20 gigabits per second. And finally, the latest generation is USB 4, which uses the USB type C shape. It can reach speeds up to 40 gigabits per second and supports high wattage power delivery. However, this USB version is mostly found only in the high-end device. Most of the laptop and desktop computers only use USB 2.0 and 3.0. By the way, some USB ports also come in yellow or red. These ports could be USB 3.0, 3.1, or even 3.2. The color only tells you about the sleep and charge feature. So if you turn off your computer, and you plug the cable into the sleep and charge port, you can still use it to charge your phone or gadgets. VGA, VGA or Video Graphics Array, is one of the oldest video connectors for connecting computers to monitors or projectors in the past. It uses a blue 15 pin connector that carries analog signals, which makes it able to handle up to 1080p at best. But since it's an analog signal, the picture often looks blurry compared to modern ones like HDMI, which uses digital signals for a much sharper image. And VGA also does not carry audio signals. It only sends video. So you would need to plug a 3.5 millimeter audio cable into the PC so the sound can come out. But in modern setups, VGA is mostly gone, replaced by digital connections like HDMI that deliver sharper images and better colors. HDMI. HDMI, or High Definition Multimedia Interface, is a display cable like VGA, but it can carry both video and audio signals through a single connection. It's commonly used for TV, monitors, projectors, and consoles. And other than this standard type that's used for devices I mentioned earlier, HDMI has other types too, such as Mini HDMI, which is often found on portable monitors or DSLR cameras, and also Micro HDMI, which is commonly used in compact devices like action cameras such as GoPro. HDMI has many versions, but the ones worth knowing are HDMI 1.4, HDMI 2.0, and HDMI 2.1. HDMI 1.4 supports 4K resolution, but with only 30 Hz refresh rate. But HDMI 2.0 raised that to 4K at 60 Hz, and it also supports the HDR feature. And the upgraded version, HDMI 2.1, can handle much more, which is 8K at 60 Hz or 4K at 120 Hz. But one thing you need to know is that HDMI is designed for a one port to one screen setup. So if you need multiple monitors but run out of HDMI ports, that's where DisplayPort comes in. DisplayPort. DisplayPort, or DP, is a digital display interface like HDMI, but it's mainly designed to connect a computer to a monitor. 
The connector looks similar to HDMI, but it has one corner cut at an angle. But what really sets DisplayPort apart from HDMI is its ability to daisy chain monitors. This means you can connect multiple screens in a series using just one DisplayPort output from your computer, instead of plugging in a separate cable for each monitor which is beneficial for people who need multi-monitor setups, such as professional video editors, coders, or even for flight simulation. And DisplayPort supports very high video quality too. DisplayPort 1.2 could handle 4K at 60 Hz. Then DisplayPort 1.4 pushed that to 8K at 60 Hz with HDR or 4K at 120 Hz. And the higher DisplayPort 2.0 even supports resolutions up to 16K, though in practice it's mainly used for 8K 120 Hz. But the thing is, this is a bit of an overkill for most people. DisplayPort, especially the versions that support up to 8K or 16K, mostly exists in the PC enthusiast world or in very specific fields that require extremely accurate images, like medical imaging or for analyzing astronomical data. So yeah, while it has all these powerful features, people stick with HDMI because it's the common standard. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is a high-speed connection technology developed by Intel and Apple. It works just like USB-C, but with the extra ability to daisy-chain multiple monitors. Basically, it's like USB-C combined with DisplayPort. The port itself uses the USB-C shape, but Thunderbolt is marked with a small lightning symbol. The first generation, however, didn't use USB-C yet. It used the mini DisplayPort interface with speeds of 10 gigabits per second and support for 4K at 60 Hertz. Then Thunderbolt 2 doubled that speed to 20 gigabits per second. The real breakthrough came with Thunderbolt 3, which switched to the USB-C shape and pushed speeds up to 40 gigabits per second. This made it flexible and powerful enough to handle two 4K monitors at 60 Hz or a single 4K at 120 Hz or even 8K at 60 Hz. And Thunderbolt also allows you to connect to an external graphics card, which makes thin laptops get desktop-level gaming or rendering performance through a single cable. And then Thunderbolt 4, which still looks like Thunderbolt 3 and has the same speed, but it guarantees that all certified cables and devices work at full performance. So sometimes a hard drive only transferred at half speed using Thunderbolt 3 or a 4K monitor that was supposed to get a higher refresh rate but got limited to 60 Hertz on certain laptops. And finally, the newest version is Thunderbolt 5, which can reach up to 120 gigabits per second of bandwidth or three times the amount of Thunderbolt 4 and supports up to 240 watts of power delivery for charging high-end laptops. On top of that, Thunderbolt 5 can handle multiple high-resolution displays at once, like three 4K screens at 144 Hertz or two 8K displays at 60 Hertz. But of course, not all devices support Thunderbolt feature, especially Thunderbolt 4 and 5. You'll mostly find Thunderbolt on high-end laptops and desktops. Ethernet. Ethernet is the port you use to connect to the router for internet access. And compared to Wi-Fi, a wired connection like Ethernet will give you a more stable connection and lower latency because something wireless like Wi-Fi needs to convert inputs or commands into radio waves first and then send those waves to the router, which then converts them back into data. So this conversion process will add a latency or delay. That's why you might have a fast internet. But if you press something, the output or impact gets delayed. This is why some people, like competitive gamers, prefer LAN connection like Ethernet although most people will stick to Wi-Fi because it's just more convenient. Audio jack. The audio jack, or often called the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, is a port used for connecting headphones, speakers, or microphones. In the past, a computer had two jacks, one for sound and one for a mic. It's because at that time, the audio jack was still TRS, meaning that it could only handle either a sound signal or a mic signal at a time. But now we have TRRS, which is an audio jack that can handle both the output and input. Kensington Lock. The Kensington Lock is a small rectangular port found on some laptops. It's designed to physically secure your device using a compatible cable lock, preventing opportunistic theft in public spaces like offices, cafes, or libraries. The lock consists of a metal cable that loops around a heavy object and the connector attaches to the laptop's lock slot. But honestly, even if I have this lock feature, I would rather keep my laptop close to me all the time. Because even if it's not stolen, who knows if someone who hates me plugs in a USB drive that's infected with a virus. And nowadays, this lock is rarely used anyway because the real threat is like malware and stuff like that. By the way, talking about virus, I actually made a cool video about every computer virus explained. So don't forget to watch it later, okay?